welcome to Sunday Leftovers again. Pastor Drew here by, by myself again to give you uh, two very special announcements as well as some things to focus on this week as we reflect on the words that we've been learning through our sermon series. Um, the first important announcement is that uh, Sunday Leftovers as a video that comes out every single week is going on hiatus for a few weeks while we reassess and reconfigure some things. We've got some very exciting ideas, ways to uh, resource our New Life family, ways to get the right information to the right people to help them as, as you all are, are, are learning with us how to follow Jesus in our everyday lives. And so we, we want to uh, make it extra special, make it extra good. So we're going to be putting this on hiatus for a few weeks um, so that when we can bring it back, we're going to come back uh, the, the week the sun, the week right after Thanksgiving. So we're going to come back for a special Advent series um, of video podcasts like this. Um, so there won't be anything in a video format for about three or four weeks there. And then we're going to come back with a special series for Advent as we continue to experiment and see what are the best ways that we can be resourcing our church family. Um, the second important announcement is that we still want to be collecting feedback as well as, as we make little changes, what things are helpful for you, what things are uh, meaningful to you or impactful to you, ways that we can come alongside our New Life family in getting information out as well as uh, discipleship ongoing as we together figure out this whole journey of following Jesus. So reply to this email if you have some feedback or some ideas, or even if you just want to say, hey, I really loved it when we used to blah, blah, blah. That really helped me and my family walk through this season. Or any kind of helpful information like that would be great for us to know how best to be partnering with you in that. And now I want to just give you some uh, little bite-sized ideas to take with you from our sermon that we just had this last weekend. We are we finished our transformed sermon series where we looked at the transformation life that Jesus invites all of us into, the transformation that he is able to do in our own hearts, the internal transformation and healing that can happen when we uh, follow Jesus and daily commit to learning from him, the transformation that happens in our lives and the way that we interact with others and treat others in our in our families, in our neighborhoods, in our workplaces, um, the transformation that Jesus does in our community, our surrounding community, through the things that he's working in us. And then this last Sunday, we talked about the transformation of our entire world as Jesus is bringing the kingdom of God here and now. And so that's what I want us to think about today. Uh, in the sermon on Sunday, we looked at the story of Jack and the Beanstalk, of the ideas of a small bean being able to be planted and growing into something huge and magical. And then we looked at the stories that Jesus told of the kingdom of God being like a mustard seed, so small, but when it's planted, it grows into the biggest of shrubs. Or it's like a packet of yeast, so small and insignificant, but when it gets put into the dough, it actually has the power to transform the whole dough, no matter how much more flour and water you add. The yeast has the power to permeate the whole thing. And so Jesus is saying the kingdom of God is like that. And so for us, we were challenged to think about what are some small ways that we can plant the good news of Jesus into everyday things around us. So I just want you to consider who is someone that you can plant the good news into today. Just take a moment and pause and think, who am I going to interact with today? Could be a family member. Could be a mail carrier. It could be someone at the grocery store. It could be your everyday stop at the coffee shop. Who is someone that you are interacting with today that you can, before you interact with them, pray, God, help me to plant your good news into this interaction. And it's not about being pushy or forcey or contrived or saying, hey, I'd like to talk to you about Jesus. No, it's planting the good news that Jesus offers grace or healing or forgiveness. And so it might even be in the way that we conduct ourselves with more grace as we interact with them. It could be that we lovingly inquire, well, how's your day going? It could be that we, uh, with compassion, follow up on, hey, how's your family member doing? And just planting a little bit of the good news that Jesus is king and that his love and grace is never ending in our everyday interactions. Who is one person that we can plant that good news into today? And then as we think for the rest of the week, where is a place in our everyday comings and goings that we can plant 
God's good news. Maybe you've already planted some good news into a relationship you started with a neighbor. And you want to just continue to knead that dough and work with God. Praying, God, how can I just continue to work with you in cultivating that growth? Or maybe you think, I, I want to start a new interaction of planting some good news by interacting with a coworker differently, by interacting with one of my kids' teachers differently, and just giving them the good news of Jesus' love through a conversation, a smile, a note, an email, and praying that God brings the growth and transformation through that. It's through these small daily interactions that we are partnering with Jesus in our everyday lives, trusting him to bring the growth, but also submitting to following him as we partner with the work that he's doing in us and around us. So please respond if you have any thoughts or any things that the Lord stuck out to you in that. And uh, as you continue to go through this day, may the Lord bless you and protect you. May he smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. Amen.